Hello and uh, Merry Christmas. So uh, I'm going to uh, taste this one today. It's called um, uh, Ernest Schultz Estate Wines 2013 Family Reserve Chambochin. Now I'm not entirely sure of the exact pronunciation of this wine, but um, this is extremely difficult to get. If you go to any bottle shop in Sydney um, and ask about Chambochin, you're going to have a, a bit of a problem finding it but um, uh, this one is from uh, Maji and uh, so uh, I'll just read the back to you. Uh, Maji is situated on the western slopes of the central ranges 260 kilometers northwest of Sydney. In its early years the Maji area soon became the largest German settlement in Australia outside of the Brossa Valley bringing with them a viticulture expertise from their homeland, they quickly established what is now a proud standing viticulture district. The vineyard established in 1991 was purchased by the Schulz family in 2003. We immediately set about revitalizing the vineyard with its rich red clay soils, sunny warm summer days and cold mountain nights to find the region's special terrier style for making unique premium wines. Chambochin is a French varietal grown and sourced entirely from Lawson Farm, picked on the 5th of April, allowing the grapes to ripen slowly and evenly, resulting in a small batch of full-bodied wine, a limited production of 280 dozen made. So the aroma, fresh berries, violet and a hint of anise, a palate rich, fleshy and full of sweet spicy berry fruit and the oak, 12 months in older seasoned American and French oak hogsheads. So I've actually had one of these before, uh, but I wasn't in a position to uh, record it. And uh, at the time it was amazing. So I was pretty impressed. So anyway, uh, we're going to um, try again. people talking. So, um, okay, so you'll probably hear some uh, speaking in the background. Anyway, so let's have a look. Nice dark colour there. There is some pepper there and I would say that it's very similar to a Shiraz, just from the smell. But it's got a, a much more uh, peppery like almost menthol-y smell to it, so it's a little bit different. Colors like a Shiraz. Not as much uh, tannin and but there's definitely a lot of flavor around the edge of the tongue um, I wouldn't say there's any kind of chocolate in it but um, there's a bit of anise And I'd say it really needs a little bit of time. I think the last time I had one of these, um, I was eating seafood with it, and it would probably have changed the flavor slightly. Um, the I also think that this probably needs um, a bit of air, maybe a bit of um, decanting, and uh, possibly. just means it needs a bit of time. But it's um, it's a nice drink, and uh, I'm going to be enjoying it with some food tonight.